Hello and welcome to another episode of Talks with Arun on Health and Wellness. We have Arun with us to answer our questions around some of the most pressing health issues we currently face. First of all, Arun, thank you for being here. And today's question is something that has been asked again and again. How exactly is yoga different from other forms of exercise and workout routines? So when uh, people come to a yoga class and uh, whether they've been exercising or not, they find it uh, very different. Now, first of all, a proper yoga class is uh, quite slow. The physical exercises are more like holding of postures for certain periods of time. There are two forms of exercise, isometric and isotonic. And uh, the yoga postures are basically isometric. What that means is that we hold postures for long periods of time. When we practice yoga, which is asana, pranayama, surya namaskar, relaxation, you work on the flexibility of your body, you work on strength, you work on stamina, you work on endurance, you work on your natural ability, you also work on agility. So all yoga practices are geared towards these specific functions of the human body. In addition to stimulating and uh, encouraging the proper functioning of all the organs. So yoga in effect, unlike many forms of exercise, is a complete form of working on the human system for optimization of all functions. So there are 10 to 12 major systems in the human body, including the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, the digestive system, the skeletal system, the muscular system, the eliminatory system, the, re the reproductive system. Yoga works on each of these systems holistically. When you're practicing the asanas, some of the asanas work on certain parts of the body, other asanas work on other parts of the body. When you do shirshasan, you do the headstand, the blood flow is towards the brain from the heart. You are actually reversing a process of gravity. The venous blood from the legs is coming down to the heart. A fresh supply of blood and oxygen is entering the brain. In other forms of exercise, especially let's say you look at things like running or doing cardiovascular training, we are not doing the same kind of activity. We are not using, for example, the help of gravity and the help of breath to drive extra nutrition or blood supply to the brain. Yoga is doing that with one specific posture like the headstand, shirshasana. Or you do sarvangasana, you do halasana, or you do matsyasana. Each of these practices are working very deeply and specifically with different systems, including the endocrine system, which is the uh, hormonal system running through the entire body. The other amazing difference in yoga practices is the attention to relaxation and the attention to the breath. The understanding is that for everything that we do, the breath is vital, the breath is important. And as I've always said, no breath, no life. No breath, no exercise. So the focus on breath is the second fundamental difference between other forms of exercise and the practice of yoga. The third is the attention to relaxation and the attention that is necessary to practice yoga. Both the things. So it's a training for the mind as well. And not only is it a training for the mind as well, in fact, as you practice yoga, you will start to realize that it is the training of the mind and not of the physique. So in the most fundamental level, how yoga is different from other forms of exercise, it is the oldest form of training your personality. It is training your mind. It is training of who you are. So it is actually a comprehensive approach to everything that you call you. It is not just the development of your muscles or how 
many uh, kilograms you can lift or how long you can run. It's actually who you are as a person and the discovery of your entire being. That's how it is uh, very different from um, your daily other forms of exercise. And I hope this helps. Thank you. So that concludes this episode of Talks with Arun on Health and Wellness. I hope you found this conversation useful on your path to wellness. If you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and family members. If you have additional queries, post them in the comment box and we'll be more than happy to include those in our future episodes. Till then, stay well. Namaste.